Hi everyone, it's Muriel. I am here with a design team project for Craft Supplies 1 on Etsy. And I wanted to show you some of the elements that I used. Um, for one, I pulled out this paper pad that I absolutely love. It is from 2010, DCWB, the Madame Was Moselle stack. And it was given to me by Marla Rizzo. Hi, Marla. And thank you so much. You know I have used this paper pad several times. I've altered um, some paper bags. I've used it with uh, cards. And now I am using it on a project that I altered. I don't even know what you call it, but I'm going to show, show you some pictures of um, some I found in a book. And then I'll show you what I did to mine. So um, I don't even know if they continue this paper pad or not, but Marla gave it to me. It was almost full. She had used a few sheets, which was fine with me. I was just so glad just to get my hands on it. And um, you see these sheets here, they're in, divided by um, four by eight, uh, four by four by four chunks, um, squares. So I definitely see a mini album coming from that. So I have a couple of um, sheets, you know, good, um, some more stuff to work with. But again, beautiful, and every time I use it, I thank you, thank you, thank you, Marla. So, if any of you know, um, close to my heart, um, I have a friend who sells it. I buy a few things from her. I did buy more in the past than I do now. But what I altered are some examples in this book. I think it's, it's we're all about frames um, this season. A lot of... Um, ideas with frame. Now you can see here this is just a wooden frame and someone has used beautiful paper and made like a um, a baby announcement with the pictures and the baby's weight and baby's um, inches and name. So um, here is another um, frame. This is almost like a painter's tray but they put pictures, they put a bow on it and um, like a banner of some type. So um, here's another picture frame um, used with um, papers, beautiful uh, designer papers, two pictures, and um, some um, clothespins. So we're getting closer, closer, closer. Now here is one um, showing like a picture frame with chicken wire through it. And I haven't picked mine up. I was going to go pick it up yesterday, but I didn't. And this one here has like jewelry hanging from it. So it's all about frames, it's all about chicken wire, and um, here's um, another idea. You've got a picture frame here with some um, um, clothespin wire used for hanging pictures and cards. And this inspired me to make what I, what I have. I had a um, frame type um, wooden... Uh, navy blue frame that I sprayed with a vanilla color paint and uh, tomorrow again I will be picking up my chicken wire so if you can just see that right there then I'm going to show you what I altered and what um, um, what it looks like so again I'm not trying to sell close to my heart I just wanted to give you some ideas so I'm going to put you in the dark for one minute so I can turn the camera around and show you what I have altered see here. Okay, so now there is my um, board here. You see it, it has this open section here. And what I used to do is to keep a calendar, you know, those two-part calendars. The picture would be up here, and then down here would be the um, section where the uh, pages for each month is. But what I did with all the flowers that I've gotten from Craft Supplies 1, I have um, hot glued up here in this area. I mean, there's like 27 flowers. The, the big one in the middle is one that I made, and then the rest of them are all from Craft Supplies. One is beautiful blues, oranges, purples, whites, pinks, burgundy, lavender, lilies, roses, you name it. They have it. So um, I thought once I sprayed it, and again, I sprayed it with some uh, vanilla color paint that I picked up at Big Lots. And it used to be navy blue, and some of the navy blue, as you can kind of see on the inside here, is like still like refusing to accept the paint. But I'm going to leave it like that because that still gives it some character. And then this here is a sheet 
from the Mademoiselle collection that I thought just looked perfect for it. It has the lattice design here. You probably would use it to cut to make border strips, but I'm not going to do that. It has this uh, crocheted um, picture here of some pink crocheted lace. It has a brown flower pattern here, and then it has here like a, a ledger paper and then a lime green going across. So, what I'm going to do when I pick up my chicken wire, and it's going to go here, right, covering that background, and then I'm going to be hanging, because this is just the back of the chair, so my hands are here, and I'm just going to be hanging some pictures and cards and whatnot, especially things that you ladies give to me. So this is my project that I created for Craft Supplies 1 using all the flowers that I have gotten with the exception of two, the big white ones and the big pink ones. But these basically are all the flowers. Again, beautiful orange, there's mauve, there's two-toned pink, there's the lily, there's even some porcelain with the pink ribbon flowers, there's purple, beautiful pinks, uh, just gorgeous. So I really, really encourage you ladies with those loose flowers you have, cluster them together, put them on the corner of a picture frame, put them on the top of a box. They really just changed this up. And again, this was navy blue. It was totally, totally ugly. But now it is much more cuter. <laughs> and as soon as I get this chicken wire on here and pin some clothespins with some pictures or some cards, I will bring them back to show you. So thanks again for watching, ladies. Bye now.